Now today we shall see symmetry and reflection. We shall start the chapter with the help of a simple experiment for you to understand this more better. Now we shall see symmetry and reflection. Reflection through ink plots. Now we will do an experiment. Take a rectangular sheet of paper and fold it into half. Choke a thread with ink and place it inside the folded paper and pull the thread out. Open the paper. What do you see? Some designs are formed on either side of the folding. Are they same? Yes, but the opposite in face. That is they appear identical but in reverse. This design is nothing but reflection. Now we shall see reflections through mirror. Now imagine this is a mirror, okay? And I've written the word mirror here, M-I-R-R-O-R. -R -R. If you place a mirror, you will find it's written like this. If you place a mirror here, in front, in beside the word mirror I've written, you will find the mirror image here, M-I-R-R-O-R. -R -R. Now this is called as mirror reflection or mirror image the mirror the image you get on the mirror is called as the mirror image now you find a line that separates the image and the word written here this is called mirror line symmetry what's this called mirror line symmetry Now we shall tick the mirror images here. Imagine you have a mirror here and we shall, we must think you have a mirror here and we must imagine it. Now we shall tick if it is a mirror image and we shall put a cross if it's not a mirror image. Now imagine you have a mirror here. The reflection would be this. Yes, the reflection if you have a mirror would be the same. Here in the same way, imagine you have a mirror here. The reflection would be this. Yes. Now imagine you have a mirror here. The reflection would be like this. So this is not the mirror image. Now the same way imagine you have a mirror here. This will not be the mirror image. Same way this will be the mirror image. Same way here this will be the mirror image. Now let us see line of symmetry. Cut a circular paper fold it equally a line divides it into two equal halves this is called line of symmetry which means it is exactly the same on both sides of the line. Now take a rectangular paper, trace two given figures in a small paper separately. Fold it and check for the line of symmetry. In figure 1, you get a line of symmetry so that the two parts coincide exactly. Figure 1 is symmetrical. In figure 2, two parts do not coincide. So figure 2 is not symmetrical. Now let us see symmetry in geometrical shapes. This is called the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry divides the figure into equal parts it is divided into equal parts this is called the line of symmetry it divides into the mirror image and divides it equally if you find this this will be 
this will be this side's mirror image and it will be divided equally. This is called the line of symmetry and these are called as symmetrical objects. If you find these, these will be divided into two equal half. The, this side's mirror image is this side's and it is divided into equal part. This part is exactly equal to the other part. And this dotted lines, we present the line of symmetry in dotted lines like this. This is called the line of symmetry as I already told you. Now let us draw the line of symmetry for the following figures. Symmetrical line should be exactly equal. If you divide the both, it should be exactly equal. Now it should be represented in dotted line. This, if I cut it down, will be exactly equal. You imagine in your mind, you fold this up and see it will be exactly the two halves. In the same way, it should be exactly the two halves. So same way, I cannot divide it like this because if I fold it, this will not be exactly two halves. So if I cut the line down like this, you imagine in your mind, you fold it into two halves, you will get the two halves equally. This will be represented by your line of symmetry. Now same way, I cannot cut it like this since this is smaller and this is bigger. So if I cut it like this, I will get exactly two halves. There can be even more than one symmetrical line for a given figure ex actually. Now this I am going to cut it like this and show it to you. Since I have already cut it everything in the straight way, I am going to cut it like this. Slanting and show you. Now this imagine in your mind, you fold it into two halves. You will get the two equal halves if I cut it like this. This is called your line of symmetry here. Now here. I can either cut it this way or this way. I am going to do it this way. This will be your line of symmetry. You just have to get exactly two halves. That's it. Here again, this will be your line of symmetry. Here, this cannot be your line of symmetry because you cannot, if you fold it, you cannot form two equal halves. You have to form two equal halves. So, I will cut it down like this. Same way here, you can either cut it like this or like this. I am going to cut it down like this. It is represented in dotted lines.